Today, family and friends of Brianna Greer said their final goodbyes. The young mother died six days after falling out of a deputy's moving car. Her family says she was experiencing a mental health crisis when deputies in Hancock County were called out on July 15th. Mourners today pay their respects at West Hunter Baptist Church. Following the service, her family marched to the state capitol to demand accountability in her death. 11 Alive's Don White is live at the capitol for us now with the changes this family wants to see here. Well, you could hear the crowd. They were on loudspeakers demanding for justice and the crowd. They also wanted to send a message that they would like to see more tr mental health training for law enforcement. A cry for justice and answers at Georgia's capital. So now we need to get accountability and transparent. That's the bottom line. Marvin Greer, Brianna Greer's father, says the family wanted to get her help when she had a mental health breakdown. The young mother ended up in the back of a Hancock County Sheriff's deputy's cruiser. The family says she was handcuffed, not wearing a seatbelt, when she fell out of the moving deputy's car. The agency says the deputy believed the door was closed, but it was not. She didn't deserve to die. Uh, we only need ask for help. That's what we were seeking for. So we didn't get the help that we needed. We got a funeral. And now we're here in front of the Capitol demanding that Governor Kemp and the Georgia legislature understand they have Brianna's blood on their hands. Civil rights lawyer Ben Crump, who's representing the Greer family, believes law enforcement needs to do a better job when dealing with people who are having a mental health crisis. You cannot say because they have mental health issues that that should result in a death sentence. So what message does that say when we're trying to bring awareness for mental health issues to the forefront that when people seek the help that they so desire, they end up dead? And Crump called for a bill here in the state legislature requiring more mental health training for first responders. Greer died after being in a coma for six days.